What made you lose respect for someone? My best friend was cheating on her husband and told me about it. Our husbands were best friends too though. She told me not to tell my husband. I told him the next day because our relationship isn't built on lies and secrets. I told her that I would be telling him and of course she was upset. She made me feel like the bad guy. My husband told her that she needed to tell him soon or he would. She told him a couple weeks later. Our friendships haven't been the same. I've basically resigned to knowing that we won't be friends again. Her and her husband are trying to work things out so I don't know if my husband will be able to salvage the friendship either. It was really disheartening because we were all really close. But there's no way I am going to put my marriage in jeopardy to save your dirty little secret. And I don't think I can be friends with someone who would expect that of me. I once told my grandfather that he was wrong for mistreating a child. He launched into this long-winded, misogynistic, victim-blaming diatribe, telling me in no uncertain terms that I'm the bad guy and I deserve all the traumas I've endured because I don't know my place. I waited for him to finish, and then I asked him why the truth about his behavior upset him to the point that he felt the need to verbally crucify me. His response, verbatim, the truth doesn't matter. What matters is what I believe. Edit, thank you all for the support. I was pretty sure everyone would call me the asshole but I posted this anyway because I'm quite proudly a truth seeker and truth teller. Them not respecting me. I told my best friend that I was suicidal and he told me that I was stressed out and if I kept acting like this then I was on my own. Littering. Two things. One. He failed out of college because he forgot about his final exam because he had his face buried in his girlfriend's tits, and two, he was a verbally, emotionally, and physically abusive, with everyone, really, but especially, to his prior girlfriend. A boy in my year was crying, PE teacher's response was man up and stop crying. No attempt made to deal with the actual problem. This was circa 2010. I work in healthcare with the elderly. I hear my patients' family members often say they don't think it's worth it to spend their inheritance aka the money my patients saved for retirement to get the care their parents need. This greed causes their elderly parents to live their last days or years with terrible quality of life. When they said that I was just confused about my sexuality because of my name, it's a more masculine one. They also said that I was being irrational when I was angry at them for saying that. My Phil threatened to overdose on his meds every time the family was focused on someone else. My uncle is a Republican Senate leader in my home state. I used to respect him until the last presidency. Never seen such bending of the knee before in my life, trading all of his morals and values in favor of party. I don't associate with him anymore, as well as several members of my family. My own brother who is extremely smart watches Fox News. I watch a lot of news from different stations ABC, CBS, NBC, PBS, BBC, and I have been watching news for several decades. Even before the recent events of the last 20 years, Fox News has never been a trustworthy source for news. I just don't understand how you can watch a single source for news that does not agree with undisputed facts, and then say all of mainstream media is wrong. Um because boys only want to nut on you instead of look for love. Talking shit about a family member in the ICU waiting room, all while the family patriarch was about to be taken off life support. So there's a girl in our classroom who's really popular but I saw right through her thingamajig. Cues dramatic music backslash so, she's kinda like a person who plays hard to get, and doesn't really consider people's feelings. I just realized how annoying she actually is because she really doesn't pay attention to people who pay attention to her. Like, I say good morning, how are you doing? Are you alright? But she doesn't care. I bet that if I stopped caring about her, she would come back to me for attention, I just can't stand it. She only cares about people who don't pay attention to her, like her other friends, she's a really great person but I just wish she would actually notice the people who make her feel happy and welcome. She also jokes about things that I'm really insecure about and trying to work on. 
She also plays the victim so much. She never wants to admit when she's wrong when it's serious, I really wish she could work on that, she always blames people around her when something goes wrong, teachers see her as mature, responsible and smart but a real mature person takes responsibility for actions, and I really wish she would do that. I work in a hospital as a pharmacy technician. My favorite pharmacist has turned into an anti-vaxxer. It breaks my heart. Her job is to literally believe in science. I catch her reading batshit crazy websites and it just boggles my mind that she could be such an amazing pharmacist and yet. Why? I don't understand how people can justify the dichotomy. How does her brain not implode? Ex-best mate and I were in our local takeaway getting some food. There was a drink couple in there being loud. A young woman walked past. The drunk woman said something along the lines of is that her? They went outside and called her back. Shortly after our food was ready, when we left they were all arguing outside. We walked down the street to his car. Just as he pulled away, they started beating the shit out of her. I told him to stop the car so I could go help, instead he floored it and sped away. A week later we were driving to his, when he suddenly did a U-turn and floored it. He'd seen a dog and thought it was lost. It wasn't, he chewed me out for not getting out to help. Literally soon as he stepped out of the car, the owners came round the corner, so there was no need. Few weeks after that. A bunch of us are having drinks and he calls me out in front of everyone about the dog. I call him out over the woman, whilst pointing out the dog wasn't lost. He loses his shit saying the dog situation was far more important than a young woman being attacked by two people. An ex-friend said I was disgusting for being on birth control. She had had three abortions. I do not think abortions are disgusting and I fully support a woman's right to choose, but the hypocrisy, damn, this same friend's dog died around March 2020, when everything in the US was being shut down. So here everyone is losing jobs and having hours cut, and she starts a GoFundMe asking for $3,500 to bury her dog. Ghosted me for no reason after just getting ghosted by his boyfriend for over a week a few months ago? We haven't spoken in over 3 months and we knew each other for over 10 years. They told me I deserved to be sexually abused. Using me as a scapegoat for years and getting strung out on meth before eventually accusing me of doing meth to throw off his wife, who had just caught their three-year-old son playing with a pipe full of meth. I'm cool with my brother now, and he got his shit together eventually, but things will never be the same. When I was about 16, I was living with my mom and stepdad. I was told I needed to run down to my local laundromat because I had to wash some bed sheets. I was told they wouldn't fit in the washer we had, total BS, and my stepdad seemed to be in the mood that day. I was trying to get a few things together so that I could occupy myself while waiting for said sheets to be cleaned. He started counting down for me to leave the house and go wash them. By the time he hit one, he walked into my room, grabbed me by my legs and hoisted me over his shoulder then only to drop me on the concrete outside and forced me to go wash the sheets. Ever since then, I fully did not have any respect for him. To this day it still hurts my mother that he even pulled something like that. She's starting the divorce papers tomorrow. It's been a long time coming. I used to throw parties when I was younger. People got fucked up, danced, whatever and when the party would wind down everyone would crowd around the living room and shoot the shit. I had a buddy who was always smooth, knew exactly what to say and when to say it. A really likable guy. He liked to drink a lot. One of the things he confessed after trashed off his ass? He bragged about how smart he was, cause he just told people what they wanted to hear. So, I was discovering myself, and realized, hey, I might be trans, so I went to my friend and tried slowly coming out to him. He seemed respectful at first, and I was ignoring our school discord server because it's just really annoying to be honest, they're constantly arguing, trying to make people less popular, and make fake suicide threats to make fun of me and a few other kids, so he was seeming really respectful, and I was feeling confident, and I told him to keep it a secret, 
To which he responds. You can trust me with anything. I then find out he's outing me to the school server and mocking me the whole way through. To be honest, this was more me losing my trust, but it was also the moment I stopped respecting him as my best friend, so, 